Things are getting very active in the tropics. Chief Meteorologist Joel Barnes here. We're going to give you the update on two different tropical depressions. 13 out in the western Atlantic and 14, which is in the southern Caribbean. Let's start with 14, which is expected to move along the Central American coast and then tracking up through the Yucatan Peninsula as we get going into uh, the weekend. Very likely it's going to be awful close to Cancun uh, Saturday night into Sunday as it moves northward into the Gulf Sunday evening. And then by Monday could make landfall somewhere uh, in and around the Houston Gap. Galveston area, somewhere between Corpus Christi and New Orleans. We are expecting that to make landfall early next week. Pretty much all the spaghetti plots are in agreement with that. A lot of them have shifted a little eastward over the last 12 hours, so New Orleans needs to keep a heads up as well as Houston and as far west as Corpus Christi for that storm. That's 14. 13 uh, is also a pretty large storm. It is uh, beginning to have some tropical storm warnings out uh, for some areas over through uh, the uh, northern Leeward Islands. We're going to see this low pressure system tracking westward here and becoming a tropical storm system, it looks like, uh, as early as Saturday, and then skirting just north of Puerto Rico, north of Hispaniola, north of Cuba, and a Category 1 hurricane will be possible hitting the southern tip of Florida through the Florida Keys on Monday, and then staying a Category 1 storm as it moves its way out, possibly into the panhandle of Florida. We'll continue to keep you updated on these storms throughout the next several days as they get closer to the U.S. Keep it here on CBS 19.